is steering for your new subscriber i want to say thank you and welcome to stella zone all right so quick today i am making jollof rice but a really quick way to make jollof rice if you don't have time to do it a sophisticated way so what i have in this pot is or this pan is oil i use soft flour oil and yes onions i blended some onions a medium sized onion garlic and ginger a little bit of ginger about um, half an inch of ginger and then so, sort of cook it in the oil for anywhere to five to seven minutes okay? so now um, I'm going to add my sauce and my paste I'm using tomato sauce and tomato paste oh. I am going to be adding my seasoning and as you can see I have uh, powdered pepper badia seasoning cumin um, oregano a little bit of turmeric yes you can cook with turmeric too so I'm going to let's put that in here i'll bring the heat down to um low to sort of allow it to simmer the ingredients is going they're all going to mix well together and cook and this can take me anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes to cook my sauce remember the secret to really great jollof rice is the sauce make sure your sauce is really really cooked done okay so see you guys in 30 minutes all right, we're back, guys. So, you can see how the stew is coming together. See, it's turning like it's like almost dark. So, that is what I am looking for. I have about four and a half, almost five minutes more to cook the stew. What's going to go in here? Not right now. I have one cup of chopped diced. I have one cup of diced peppers. I have red, yellow, and green diced up bell peppers. And then I have carrots in here. So I will put this in when my jollof is about 10 minutes, like when it's almost 10 minutes done. And then I'll, this one will go in when I have five minutes to finish uh, cooking my jollof rice. In here I have jasmine rice. I'm using jasmine rice. And I have about four and a half cups of jasmine rice. Okay. So I have hot water here. I'm going to pour the hot water on here. I sort of want to pre-cook the rice to make it like, to help it cook faster. I have coconut milk here, homemade coconut milk. I scraped the oil to make coconut oil for my hair. I have my stew is almost done because this is the consistency. Stew is almost done. I have my lasagna pan here where I'm going to transfer my jello rice in. And then you know I like to bake my jello rice in the oven. And I'm going to be cooking that at 380 degrees for about one hour. But make sure you are stirring it so it cooks evenly. So you are stirring it every 15 to 20 minutes while it's in the oven. Take it out and stir it so everything cooks nicely. If you, if you don't want to use the oven, you can still cook it on the stove top. But as you're cooking it, make sure your, make sure your heat is on low and so that it will cook nicely without getting burned um, at the bottom of your pan. Okay? So stay tuned. Guys, look at this. This stew is well well done okay and the consistency i'm looking for for my rice you see if you can see the rice looks very well pre-cooked not overcooked not really well done but it looks uh, pre-cooked so i'm going to add it in here yeah. add a, a little at a time then mix it in so just mix your rice in here so I have a ladle in here. What I'm going to do is scoop one coconut, homemade coconut milk water slash water, and I'm going to spread it on here. That's it. And what I want to do, what I usually do, I'm going to leave this to cook on the stove top for about five minutes on low heat. The reason I do this is I want the rice and the stew with all the yummeliciousness to mix together before transferring it into the pot and then it will eventually go in the oven but this looks so delicious mm. all right so after five minutes it's not yeah i only have what 40 something seconds left i transfer my rice into my lasagna bowl and i also like to do this just go into your pantry, whatever you have. I have this multicolored um, spaghetti. Pasta noodles. Pasta noodles. You can use regular spaghetti. I'm going to, this is about a cup. 
and I'm gonna put it in here. Here. And then now I'm going to add my coconut. You can use regular water, so but I have this, so I'm going to use this. So this is about one cup, okay. And two cups. I will say about two and a half cup of my coconut, and it's not thick. So I'm going to mix everything in. At this point, you can taste to see if the, your salt is okay with your rice. If you need extra salt, just go ahead and add the extra salt. I can put a carrot in at this point. I don't know. I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not going to wait. I will only wait for the peppers. So I'm covering with um, aluminum foil in the oven for one hour. Mm. Um, oh my goodness. This smells amazing. Look at, look, look at it. Get a closer look. This is well done. This is well cooked jollof rice. Oh my goodness. And one thing, the reason why I like um, cooking my jollof rice in the oven is that when you look at, let me, let me show you. See, I like my kanzo. Okay, that's the bottom of the uh, pan. Not too much kanzo. So it's not really burnt, so you can enjoy that part if you want some crunchy rice. So this is it, Stella Zone Lovers. This is simple and easy. You do not have to use the coconut milk. I know I put like, what, two cups in there? Two or three. three. Yeah, but I added more. I'll probably say, you know, I used about five and a half, or almost six cups of um, the coconut. It's different. The milk is thicker. The coconut milk is thicker, but I used just the coconut water from my, um, the one I had, I made yesterday. So this is it. And you can smell the coconut. So I'm going to dish this up. And so, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. At the same time, the bell button so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be one of the first people to get a notification until we meet right here again. Try this John Love Rice. It is legit. Okay? So I'll see you next time with another amazing video. Have fun. Bye.